Hey guys, what's going down here? Ares here with Mass Effect 3. And I'm not really going to talk about this. This is a really easy section. Just, you know, do everything you've been doing against Cerberus. There's nothing too special about this section here. Um, I did want to talk about the ending to Mass Effect 3. So, um, just a warning now. I'm going to spoil it. But don't worry, the ending is terrible. It's pointless, it's stupid, it makes no sense. Um, tons of videos about this. I posted a blog post a couple of weeks ago on Wiki Game Guides, and it was uh, well discussed. There was a lot of discussion about it. Most of the people agreeing with me and the general consensus on the internet that it's, it's terrible. Um, so I am going to spoil it. So sorry if you like were holding out or something. It's it's really bad. It's dumb. It doesn't make any sense. It, it, so I may or may not end up spoiling because there's not really much to spoil. But Bioware said they're gonna um, they're going to quote unquote clarify the ending. They're not going to change it. Um, the ending is going to stay as it is because the ending was ultimately just a very uh, empty ploy to get us to purchase DLC. I mean, you look at the ending and how it ends with um, Joker and Edie. It pretty much, depending on which ending you take, um, it it's so obviously a ploy for DLC. So. It, it's just a ploy for money. It's really disappointing considering how good this game's story is up until the ending that it ends in the crappy way it does. Um, there there are some good videos. I'm going to post the link to my blog post on Wiki Game Guides about this, uh, which has basically all the arguments that I put forward that most people have put forward. Uh, a couple more links to other people that have talked about it. There actually have been... Um, about two or three days after the game was released, Mass Effect 3 was released, someone posted an online um, ending, uh, an alternative ending to Mass Effect 3 that was actually much better than the one that Bioware put forward. Um, so, as far as all the arguments that go about why it was bad, so bad, basically none of the choices you make in Mass Effect 3 matter at all. <clears throat> you know, whether or not I choose to betray the Krogan or not, it doesn't change anything. I mean, I guess it changes how many guys you have when you're doing the final mission, which also does not matter because nothing will change. Maybe maybe you get different endings depending on how many troops you have, but the endings are just so bad that it's hard to care about which one you get. So, and really, all of the endings except for the destroy ending are just terrible and they don't make any sense. So... And they pretty much go against it, everything Shepard's talking about throughout this entire game. So, you know, I, I don't mind spoiling the ending. I am probably going to post the ending. It's bad. It's so bad for those of you that haven't played it. And I still have about half the video left, so... I'm just going to say that for anyone that was looking forward to the ending, myself included. I was very much looking forward to this. It, it's very disappointing. Nothing we can do about it now. Bioware already has our money. So, what are you going to do? I mean, I guess if you got it for the 360 or P PS3, then you can trade the game in. But, it, it's such a damn shame because Mass Effect 3's gameplay is better than Mass Effect 2's. It has much more custom customization. Which Mass Effect 2 is lacking a lot of, which makes Mass Effect 3 a lot more fun, a lot more versatile in the way that you play. Classes are more etched out, um, so, and it has multiplayer, and the multiplayer is not bad. I mean, I don't, I don't particularly enjoy it that much because all it is is the single player with no, with no real reason behind it. But it's not bad. But it, it just. It's just such a damn shame that they mess up the ending. I don't even know how they messed up the ending. You would think that putting it all together would just require a few CG cutscenes. 
and you know to tie everything together depending on what your decisions were who was alive at the end but they they took the weird route of a new villain at the end of the game and it it just it just ended up bad so again there's not much to spoil You're, if you haven't seen it uh, go watch it on YouTube there's actually a com it, there's actually a video on YouTube and it's all and I think John posted it in the comments um, on wiki, on my wiki game guides blog that compares all the endings of Mass Effect 3 and it puts them all side by side all what six of them yeah there's tons of endings um, all six of them and all of they and all they are is a different color with with minor variations in in some of the stuff but you know I guess that's how viral wants this game to go down as great concept great delivery but they couldn't get the ending and um, that's all I gotta say about it not gonna be talking about the ending anymore after this video I thought I would just do it because this is a pretty mindless section and I wanted to get this off my chest and see what you guys thought so i'll catch you in the next video and we'll start talking actual strategy so i'll see you then Control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. Trevor's has the trouble on us. I'll catch him, Lieutenant. 